Welcome back everyone. Today we learn about electromagnetic spectrum. First, let's take a look at the focus area for today's lesson. Topic 1. All electromagnetic waves are transverse waves. Topic 2. Main components of the electromagnetic spectrum. Topic 3. Uses of EM spectrum. Topic 4. Effects of absorbing electromagnetic waves. First topic, electromagnetic wave. This is the diagram of an electromagnetic wave. Red is the electric field, blue is the magnetic field, and the white line is the direction of travel. All EM waves are transverse waves. EM waves can travel through vacuum, unlike sound waves which need a medium. They travel at speed of light in vacuum. That means 300 million meters per second. Electric and magnetic waves vibrate at right angle to direction of travel of the waves. The speed of the EM wave, V equals its frequency F times its wavelength lambda. EM wave obeys the laws of reflection and refraction. The chart on the right shows the full electromagnetic spectrum, from radio wave to gamma ray. Note the visible lights that human can see are also EM wave and they only occupy a small portion in the middle of the electromagnetic spectrum. Waves at the each end of the spectrum passes through materials and in the middle of the spectrum are absorbed by materials. High-frequency waves are dangerous to human and low-frequency wave are not. Second topic, uses of electromagnetic spectrum. We will go from the high end of the EM spectrum to the low end of the spectrum. First, gamma ray. Gamma ray is used to kill bacteria and cancer cells. It's also used to kill bacterial to sterilize medical equipment and food. Next, X-ray. X-ray passes through solid objects but not bone, teeth, and metal. It's used to examine bone and welded joint. Next, UV radiation. UV radiation is used in fluorescent tubes. The UV light produced inside the tube is absorbed by the phosphor coating on glass, which then emits visible light. UV light is also used in sunbeds for sun tanning. UV light is also used for sterilization because it can kill germs. Example, new water is highly treated reclaimed used water. It is purified by microfiltration, reverse osmosis, and UV irradiation. Next, visible light. Visible light is extremely important to humans. We use it to see. Without light. Our eyes would not be able to see images of anything. Aside from sight, there are other important uses for visible light. One notable application is optical fiber. An optical fiber is a flexible, transparent fiber made by drawing glass or plastic to a diameter slightly thicker than that of a human hair. Optical fibers are used most often as a means to transmit light between the two ends of the fiber, based on the total internal reflection phenomenon. Optical fiber is also used in medical. Endoscope is used to observe the internal parts of a human without doing major operations. Next, infrared radiation, or IR in short. All hot objects emit IR. The hotter an object, the brighter they are. One application is night vision camera. IR is also used to send harmless signal over short distance, for example, the remote controller for aircon, hi-fi, TV. IR is also used in intruder alarm system. Next, microwave. Microwave is a form of radio wave. Its wavelength is of a few cm. Microwave is used in cooking. Water molecules readily absorb the microwave energy. Microwave is also used for satellite transmissions, because microwave can penetrate through Earth's atmosphere.
including clouds. Lastly, radio wave. Radio waves are used in communication. They are categorized into short radio wave, medium radio wave, and long radio wave. Short radio wave needs direct sight of transmitter. Medium radio wave gets reflected off the atmosphere, and it can be received at long distance. Long radio wave can be transmitted through tunnels. Next, let's take a look at some examples. State three characteristics of EM waves. Which of the EM wave below can travel through fog over a long distance? Next, we discuss about the effects of absorbing electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic radiation can be classified into two types, ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiation. High frequencies EM waves are ionizing radiation and are dangerous, ultraviolet, x-ray, gamma ray. Ionizing radiation pose a health hazard, or radiation poisoning. Common health hazard of radiation is sunburn, due to too much exposure to UV light from sunshine. Prolonged exposure to these radiations would result in radiation sickness, cancer, and genetic damage. Finally, Summary Waves at the itch end of the spectrum pass through materials and in the middle of the spectrum are absorbed by materials. High frequency waves are dangerous to human, and low frequency waves are not. There's a way to remember the electromagnetic spectrum. We take the first letter of each type of EM wave and rearrange them in the reverse order. GXUVIMR. Generation X used Viagra in my room. That's all for today. Thank you for the effort to learn with me. Stay tuned for more interesting lessons. See you next time. Bye-bye.